You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. I'm Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. Here we are in the midst of fall with winter nipping at our heels. I must confess, I never thought we would still be in the heat of a battle with this viral pandemic after more than nine months fighting it. I use the words viral and pandemic often these days. For some reason, when I film these segments, the more times I say the word COVID, it seems the fewer views that segment gets, almost like that word is targeted to throttle down viewership. So please know when I refer to viral or pandemic, I'm referring to that five letter C word when I make these references. Nine months of battling this invisible enemy and CNAs are tired. They are weary, they are struggling, struggling at work and struggling at home. CNAs have not had the comfort of working remotely from the safety of their homes. Their work is up close and personal, providing life-sustaining care. The work of a CNA has always been one with physical risk, but that risk has taken on a whole new meaning. Recent studies have shown that CNA work under current circumstances is more dangerous even than logging. Yet despite the risk and inadequate pay, CNAs are still suiting up and hitting the halls. They're donning the available personal protective equipment and caring for the most vulnerable. The added layers of protective gowns, masks, and face shields make the work hot and cumbersome, but CNAs know it is necessary. They continue to report for work because they are committed to those they care for, their residents, their patients. Let us not forget those who have made the ultimate sacrifice to care for others. Nearly five years after immigrating from Nigeria, Ijoma Afuk was close to achieving two major life goals. The certified nursing assistant was studying to become a nurse here in the United States and had an exam scheduled in June. Ijoma was a nurse in Nigeria, but had to complete the licensing process in the United States. In the meantime, she was working as a certified nursing assistant while studying for her licensing exam, like I said, that was scheduled in June. She also had completed the requirements to become a United States citizen, and she had an important interview for that in April, which was postponed due to the emergence of the coronavirus. Tragically, however, before Ijoma could even reschedule her interview for citizenship, this hardworking 35-year-old Chicago woman became another casualty working on the pandemic's front line in healthcare. Ijoma died April 29th at a Chicago area hospital of pneumonia related to a COVID-19 infection. She did not have a serious underlying medical condition that made her more vulnerable to the virus, according to the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office. Ijoma was a CNA at a nursing home in Chicago's uptown neighborhood. The facility had an outbreak with more than 50 confirmed cases of COVID among residents and staff and numerous deaths. Ijoma had complained to her husband about a lack of PPE or personal protective equipment at work. He urged her to take a break after she came down with cold-like symptoms, but she brushed it off and continued to work. He said she soon became too weak to even walk up the stairs. He took Ijoma to the hospital April 19th. One week later, Despite a persistent fever, he said she was stable 
and still speaking to relatives and friends on her phone daily. Her April 29th death was unexpected and came suddenly after she was intubated due to a fluctuating heart rate. Afouk said his wife loved her job and was committed to her patients. She is survived by her husband, her three-year-old daughter, many family and friends, and very grateful patients. So today, join me in recognizing a beautiful, ambitious CNA who worked so hard to achieve the American dream. Today, please help me as we honor Ijoma Afuk, CNA hero.